Hello, members of the viewing audience. Thank you very much for joining me again for another episode of Written Wednesday. I'm glad to be joined once again by Dova Quill, Hardwired, or Meg, and Sush, the vagrant who lives in the chat and will never leave. <laughs> it's good to have you. Now, last stream, I encountered a few issues with OBS. And I figured out what was wrong. So now, <laughs> leaves. No, come back. I need the entire population of, of, of lava and the sea and magma. And Canada. Oh, quiche. That's very good. I actually make a, a spinach quiche, uh, quiche for my diet. I think I've actually eaten it on stream before. Because <laughs> I'm terrible at planning and, and balancing out timing and everything. But I figured out the issue with OBS. And now... If I open this story, the stream should be able to see it without all heck breaking loose. Can I get a drum roll, please? Can you guys see it? Is it there? Nobody asked you. <laughs> yeah, we got we've got our drum roll. Come on, guys. Oh, the population of lava has returned. off the writing stream with magnificent what do you mean nope wait wait that 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 i remember this i remember this hang on hang on i think i got it is that it do you see it it should be the next document I'm sitting here with infinite anticipation. What? I... Come on! Don't do this to me! I sat with a friend and troubleshot this all week. That is... It's not fair. Uh... Oh, okay. No, hey. Yes, yes, that should do it. That should do it. Yes, okay, yes. Is it a yes now? <laughs> Are we good? Can you see? There! <laughs> yes! Ah! Uh, can I get a round of applause? You're supposed to see the new st or the other story I work on when I'm not working on Infinity Quest. I'm gonna quietly scream now. So now. If you guys would like, for tonight, we can look into my secondary story, Fly By Night Apocalypse, or we can continue as planned with Infinity Quest. I'd like to branch out a little bit with Written Wednesday, and I was thinking at some point, if you guys were receptive to it, 
to allowing other people to show me their works during the stream and celebrate uh, celebrate writing as a whole, not just exclusively watching me bounce off of Infinity Quest week after week. It's your call, and tonight I will let you decide between Fly by Night Apocalypse and Infinity Quest. I <laughs> hit Dova, Infinity Quest, but I want Infinity Quest. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Can I hear the other votes? Oh, by the way, Dova, you'll be happy to know, despite the um, corruption of the file, I managed to find an old, old version I had done on a different computer backed up. So while it is grievously outdated, I can actually send you the book and you can read over it. However, the intro you're familiar with was the new version that I upgraded to. You're going to be looking at the old version if I do send it to you to read later at your own convenience. It's not sci-fi particularly. It's kind of sci-fi, but Fly by Night Apocalypse is mainly a post-apocalyptic survival horror kind of thing. I'd like Fly by Night. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll tell you this. Meg, would you be reading or er, reading, excuse me, would you be willing to read Fly by Night Apocalypse with me? We'll bounce back and forth and each one of us can do a different day. And we can have a, a nice little story night with everybody here in the chat. But I'm biased. Galaxy Thread. So, what do you say, Meg? Would you be interested in lending your voice to the stream tonight? And now, now we wait. <laughs> now, you know, on the second thought, Infinity Quest is fine. <laughs> I'll need more wine. Well, hopefully not. Nope, sorry, I'm eating dinner. Ah. Hmm. Well then, let me see here. Dova, could I bring you into uh, reading this with me? Hedge's, er, excuse me, not Hedge, Susha's eating a cucumber. I don't know why. Your roomie says you've been annoying today, so you eat cucumber. Ooh! All right. Well, Dova, I will call you up, and we'll go back and forth over this. Just let me get it up to uh, to Google. I'll, I'll put this file in a Google Drive document thing. Smart with computers right here. And we'll both go back and forth reading different journal entries. <clears throat> All right. Let me just... Scroll down here to the very bottom. And you guys are in for a treat. Tonight we go not into infinity, but rather an apocalyptic setting. <laughs> Continue the drum roll. Uh, let me see. Google Drive. I don't know. Oh yes, that's why I plugged in the headphones. Preemptively getting ready for the uh, for the reading, and then I'll just call you on Discord, and we'll go through and and read this. I wanted Google Doc, not Google Drive. Oh. I'm a bit of a dummy. I should warn everybody that there's a bit of hard language in this one. Don't worry, it's loading. There we go. Alright, sh 
share. Get shareable link. Dova. Yes, I will. Here you go. Now, just let me know if you're ready and we'll start the reading. I know, but PG-13. Greetings! It is good to see you. Well, not see you, hear you. Yes, please do. I'll let you take the first page. Oh, uh, you might want to put in headphones because I can hear myself echoing in your... Okay. Meg, can you hear him okay? Or could you hear him okay when he was talking or no? Don't do this to me now. How am I gonna... Screen share? No. You don't know. User settings. Maybe that will help. Uh... My check. Push to talk. Flick the bean? What does that even mean? Sush, what planet are you from? Oh, I'm, excuse me, population of PG-13. Pick a thirteen. Uh, no, that's Sush again, under the cover of darkness. Uh, maybe I should disable streamer mode? Oh my god, don't say that. <laughs> don't say what? Oh yeah, you probably still hear me talking through Discord. <laughs> and I've noticed it's every time I try and do a live reading of something that my my setup and my equipment almost unanimously goes goes sour. Okay, okay, no, oh no, no, Meg, I didn't need to know that. Oh no, oh no. You've driven me to drinking. I now have a coke addiction.
I might have to hit Dova up for his wine. All right, Dova, can you hear me? Well, I can't hear him now, uh, now either. Ah, oh, I heard tapping. I hear violent clipping or er, clicking. Okay, well, Dova Quill has become a vocal tap dancer from the sounds of uh, my earbuds. Can you guys hear him okay? Like the, the clicky tapping sound. The mic he's using is being difficult. Oh dear. <clears throat> well, thank you very much, Dova. If it's going to be too much of a problem, I guess I'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. So, if you don't mind, I, I suppose I'll leave the call and I'll read the story to all of you, like a proper host would. Oh wait, hang on. I heard a noise. Dova Quill's voice in a different chat. Bye, I'm out. Oh, oh no. So yeah, if it's going to be uh, an issue for you, Dova, it's okay. I appreciate the thought that you would help read it. But, um... If it can't be helped, it can't be helped, and I'll I'll read for everybody. Mm, excuse me. Chuck Morris. Mm, that's that's fantastic, Sush. <clears throat> I tried and am now in need of more wine. I don't blame you, Dova. Well, in that case, I suppose I'll be the one to read. And for whatever reason, this font gets rid of my cursors, so... Dear Journal... Oh, how do you guys like that? If I if I have blue going along with where I am, that's fine. As we saw from the beginning of the stream, I am no stranger to technical difficulties. Do you guys prefer if I highlight everything so you can follow along while I read, or are you indifferent? All right. <clears throat> well, I guess we'll we'll go blue then. Dear journal. So, if you're reading this book, I'm either dead or you just found it laying around somewhere and are curious enough or able to read it. Yay for you, smiley face. 
Don't worry, this isn't my manifesto or a trap to keep you looking down long enough for me to sneak up behind you. Bang! Wink face. Ha ha. No, this is just some weird little thing I've been doing for the last, like, ten years I've been surviving. I don't know. Whatever 3,753 days are. Add it yourself. Mm, excuse me. One of the only things keeping me from blowing my brains out is this stupid habit I've made where I have to sit down every night and just reflect about my day. I think I have maybe six of these books filled already. I leave them scattered around and like to pretend I have this one dedicated reader who's been trailing me to read the next one. So, since your name was Samantha in the last book, I'm going to call you Vanessa in this one. <laughs> yeah, it, it it helps him with his expressions, like convey his his thoughts, I guess. So hey, thanks for following me this far, Vanessa. Let's see, I had a can of beans today and four potatoes, like actual potatoes, not canned stuff. I avoid scavenging. There's, <clears throat> excuse me. I avoid scavenging for food whenever I can because eventually all that stuff runs out. I grow at least eighty percent. Wow of my own food and only really roam around when I need that stuff or when I need stuff. That should be one of your first priorities too. Find somewhere safe and just start growing your own stuff. The less time spent on the ground is the less amount of time I have to watch out for someone trying to kill me. See? You're learning already, trusted reader. I mean, Vanessa, you stick with me and support the series because I admit, because I'm an egomaniac, and of course I have a dedicated following running across hell on earth just to read my next journal. God, I'm tired. I'll write more tomorrow. These are just getting stupid now. Sleep tight. <clears throat> Day three thousand seven hundred and fifty-four. A new night, a new page. So where did we leave off yesterday? <laughs> it's like the writer wanted us to read his diary. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> a new night, a new page. So where did we leave off yesterday? Right. Become self-sufficient as soon as possible. I spent a lot... <clears throat> Hang on. That's quite the next... <laughs> it's just the next night. Right. Become self-sufficient as soon as possible. I spent a lot of time in the last book or one of them talking about what I thought about the whole can drive rat race scavenging thing. If you didn't read No. You know what? I know I know Vanessa better than that. You read it already, so yeah, don't be a dick killing people for cans of dog food. Hmm. Excuse me. Man, speaking of people, I haven't seen any in a long time. Not outside of some of the traders, I mean. I really hope that they're not all dying out. I know I really... <clears throat> excuse me. I know I don't really trust a lot of people, but that doesn't mean I'd rather everybody be dead. Like, if I make the choice to be a prick who's alone all the time, I like it to be my choice, you know? Well, anyway. What I've been doing... I've set up a comfortable camp on the top of a fire station and have a little farm going strong. I know I'm always writing about not laying down too many roots in case you have to bug out, but it just kind of sucks getting all set up and having to leave it all behind because some axe-slinging psychopath brought his friends into town or because some horde decided to show up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or decided some horde, or excuse me, or some horde decided it's not happy with just passing through. I don't know. I've actually been bouncing between a few places here of late. There's an old hardware store down the street, a little that has a second floor with a stove and a bed. It beats a bedroll, but I don't feel safe there. <clears throat> if they get in, I'm basically trapped. What else? Yeah, I didn't read. I didn't. Caleb was supposed to give you my infos. Caleb, you're, I'll give infos later. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 don't, 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 make, don't, don't, these go to YouTube.
I don't want to have people giving out your, your information later. I will send it to her through Discord. I'm not good with editing. <clears throat> Alright, let me <laughs> let me continue. There's an old hardware store down the street a little that has a second floor with a stove and bed. It beats a bedroll, but I don't feel safe there. If they get in, I'm basically trapped. What else? There's a hardware store, the roof, my pers er, there's the hardware store, the roof, my personal favorite, and a laundry mat with two floors and easy roof access. I usually stay there when it rains a lot. You'd think it'd be the best of both worlds and I'd stay there full time, but I like the view from the fire station's roof more. <clears throat> I'm probably just a glutton for punishment. I don't know. Well, anyway, I mainly gathered some wood and scraps today to make some stuff. Oh wait, man, I should have worded that differently. I'm telling you I got wood. Haha, -ha. this is why I don't spend time around people. It's just boring stuff anyway. More fortifications. In my future, some more gathering, talking to plants, and watching the natives. What did you do today, Vanessa? I thought it streamed. No. <clears throat> Stream, I'll recommend you a game. Thank you. Day 3,555. Excuse me. Day 3,755. I wonder what happens to make them look so fucked up. Don't laugh, I'm being serious. Person I'm pretending I'm talking to. They used to be people at one point, so I wonder at what point that changed. I heard on TV once, respect to you if you remember TV, that every time you get sick, the sickness changes your DNA so that it can reproduce in your system or something like that. I wonder if that's what's going on. I probably sound stupid since I'm not a doctor or anything, but it's weird to think that at some point, or excuse me, it's weird to think that at some turning point it goes from being an infection to being some oily looking motherfucker with dinner plates for eyes, no neck, big wiggly ears, or excuse me, and big wiggly ears. I sometimes wish I was a doctor or a scientist or something, but I guess if they were able to do, or excuse me, or I get, nah, I'm terrible at reading these. But I guess if they were able to survive, society wouldn't have collapsed, leaving the former an <clears throat> leaving a former unachiever as the inheritor of the earth. And if that isn't a word, it is now. I am Sean, unachiever, god emperor of the world. All hail the sky guardian of potatoes. Raven fodder. Oh, a new person. Hello. I didn't know we were joined by someone new. Thank you. Yes, this is a book I was doing on the side when I kind of feel burned out on Infinity Quest. It, it, it keeps my creative juices flowing. <clears throat> no, I, I, I wrote this as a, a journal from the point of a, a survivor during an apocalypse. And slowly it, it comes together what's going on, but I didn't want to make it too, too obvious. <laughs> Real records. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's like those uh, found footage movies. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, all hail the potato god, a.k.a. Meg. Day 3756. Hello, happy citizen of the underachiever or the unachiever land. That's right, that's still a thing. I've decided that since this is mandatory reading in our emerald school and colleges, which dot the ivory hillsides of paradise, I would include some more tips and tricks for surviving the malcontents roaming the streets. Don't worry, once their union gets paid, they'll retreat back into their sewer with the rest of the mole reptilians who rule the old world. I have discovered that garlic is something to always keep on hand and goes a long way in keeping me from getting sick. As such, no luxury manners roof in the kingdom is complete without them. 
It took a little bit to figure out how to make them grow, but after screwing around with one of the old grow beds I made, so long as it drains good, it seems to work. So, by royal decree, boom, grow garlic to stay healthy. Roaming the grounds and searching over the local pill stores is allowed since the wonderful wonderland of Underachieverville isn't proactive enough to make up a currency. Everything is free, unless it's mine. You're welcome. <clears throat> oh shit, it was Underachieverland. Okay, fuck it, I'm not a novelist, so garlic is good. I'm trying to figure out a rainwater collector and what to build it out of. So basically, er, but basically, just have a cooking pot and a campfire works for me. Boil the stuff coming out of the pipes, or er, coming out of the pipe still, and you should be fine. You're welcome, Vanessa. And speaking of campfires, I know the light from them is enough to keep those creepy bat guys from seeing you or coming closer at night, but I don't recommend them as your only defense. One hard wind or rainstorm and poof, you're at their mercy. If you're inside, you can't even start one. And if you're using batteries, you're just going to go out and have to find more later. That's why I keep a little gas light with me. I know technically you'll have to go looking for gas at some point, but if you're crafty, you can make wood gas. Yes, garlic is bay. I'm glad he survives, but he seems so depressed. The apocalypse sucks. I prefer Ragnarok, or the Athorian end times, or any king under the mountain end times myth. I I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. <clears throat> Day 3,757. So, I've pretty much done fuck all over the last few days. I've been working on the gardens, dealing with the water situation again, and just gathering up what I can here and there. But, I've really not explored the place as much as I should have been. It's This is a big city. I saw that when I first stumbled onto the place. There's at least two skyscrapers here that I really want to check out, but I haven't. I don't know why. On the upside, though, I got a crossbow. I should be able to hunt some meat or something if I get a chance. So here's the day plan. Look around for a deer or something tomorrow. Skin and gut them <clears throat> at the other end of town to draw the freaks over there. Then, if there's time, maybe I'll start looking over the area around that one tower. Day 3,758. Underachiever! That's the word I was trying to remember the other day. I'm dumb. There weren't any deer, by the way, so I had plenty of time to start drifting towards those skyscrapers and ch casing the place out. Probably for the best, too, because this book's been kind of all over the place. Or, excuse me. I see what I did. Need another O. Let's try that again. Day 3,758. Underachiever! That's the word I was trying to remember the other day. I'm dumb. There weren't any deer, by the way, so I had plenty of time to start drifting towards those skyscrapers and casing the place out. Probably for the best, too. This book's been all over the place, kinda. Sometimes I make this as a documentary. Sometimes it's an instructional guide. I like to keep things fun. That's why you love my writings, though, huh, Vanessa? I've had all, excuse me, I've had about two weeks or so setting up in town, so I don't get any, so I don't think anything is going to go catastrophically wrong if I do a little bit of Ghost Ops Recon. I'm a badass like that. Oh, hey, it'll give me something to write about. There's a few of the bumblers on the ground around the base of the tower, some holding up in, <clears throat> some holding up in some of the buildings around. I'm noticing they don't seem to like the sun just in general. Like, I know the bat ones are all but blind in the light, but the ground guys, beefneck boys, just kind of either stand around and don't, and not do much of anything, or just stumble around until night. That's when shit hits the fan. I The blue is fun, but I keep 
losing track of where I am, so I'm just going to scroll down. If I had to guess, I bet that there's a lot of them hiding... Excuse me. If I had to guess, I bet there's a lot of them inside the building to sleep out. Mm, excuse me. If I had to guess, I'd bet that there's a lot of them inside the building to sleep out the daylight. But I'd also bet that there's probably some good loot in there too. So, new plan. I'm going to slowly start picking them off during the day to thin out their numbers. And, in maybe a week, I'll see how many are still in the area. Always be smart before you roll the dice. Plus, don't rule out any options. I'm not above slapping a mofo in their sleep. <clears throat> Day 3,759. Hey, Vanessa. So, I started out the process of pissing off everybody in town. Story of my life. It went pretty well, I think. <laughs> Hanging on by a thread. Slapping? Who's slapping who? Everybody's slapping everybody. Welcome to the Slap Happy Hour Slap Stream. It took me some time to really zero in the aim of the crossbow. Not my fault. But after that, it was like shooting fish in a barrel, which has always been a life's goal of mine. I wonder if sailors ever get pissed off enough to actually shoot fish. My stepdad used to take me fishing when I was like seven, and I remember I'd flip my shit when the little pricks would eat the bait right off the hook. I mean the phrase, shooting fish in a barrel, had to come from somewhere, right? For that matter, who's the fucking duck Nazi who has to always have their little shits in a row? Let them live, man. They got their own shit to do. Maybe they don't want to be in a line today. Okay, well, anyway, I killed about four of them today before they started getting too riled up for comfort. I think I'm going to spend tomorrow trying to get the, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to get the bolts back out of the corpses. Waste not, want not. I wonder, who came up with that one? Probably a stingy prick like me. I like him. Oh, the dentist! Hey, Katie! The Nictis visit went fairly well, other than my face, neck, and ears feeling like they're dying. Ooh, sorry to hear that. I'm glad you guys are liking the, the, the inner monologues of Sean. That, that's one of the reasons why writing this is so fun. <clears throat> Day 3760. I had an idea today when I was getting my arrows back. I'm thinking about spending an evening over there at the tower and trying to pick off some guys when they're more active. I'm still on the fence about it though because that would be a lot more dangerous. But I think if I do some hunting tomorrow and just dump a bunch of guts and stuff in the street around the area, it'll draw a lot more of them out of hiding and make them easier targets. Again, I'm like covert ops, I know. Hold your applause, Vanessa. I should probably spend tomorrow looking for a building that it work as my camp and has the most sound structure and easily secured doors. <laughs> Day 3761. Found my spot in the excuse me, I found my spot for the big day. I managed to kill another 5 of them yesterday, by the way. I didn't mention that in the last entry. I killed another 6 today, which brings me up to a grand total of 15 asses whooped in the last three days. Normally, I'd be wary of actually trying to push into an area like that because only, or excuse me, because I only really shoot when there aren't many others around or when I'm cornered. So that means there's a lot more of them there. But I'm kind of thinking I'm going to be able to do this. If I kill a decent amount of them now, that's less I have to deal with until one of their wandering hordes inevitably stumbles across the place. On the plus side, though, there's a gas station out that way I checked out, and it was loaded with snacks and stuff. I'm just going to keep those for a day when I don't, or excuse me, when I feel like I need a reminder of the old world preservatives, or just as something to trade later. Tell you what, though, if you come over tonight, I'll share them with you. <laughs> I wish, right? Day 3762. All right, writing this one early. Spent all day trying to find wild game at the other end of the city. Fuck my life. And managed to get enough guts to set my trap. Sun's going down and I have my fire ready. Freaks are starting to get more active. I'm uneasy about the wind. 
but with the power of God and pretzels on my side, I got this. Real talk, though. If I get fucked up tonight, thanks for talking with me. Sorry that the series ends here. Total kills, 28. <clears throat> Day 3,763. And the trap is sprung! All hail, hail Sean, smartest man in an empty town. Booyah! So yeah, I'm still alive and it went off pretty well. The winds died down about maybe five minutes after I wrote that. The beefy guy started running out of hiding. I haven't seen too many come out of the tower, which makes me wonder if they're not stuck inside, which would suck because I'd have to find a way to break open the doors and do this again. Oh, that'd be cool. I'd love to read them, Sush. I'm out of bolts, though. I ran out... Uh, excuse me, I ran after like 40 of them. I'm not kidding. There were just that many. Excuse me, there were just that many. I was lucky that they didn't really get what was happening or figure out where I was, but I went full hostile sailor on their fishy asses. Seriously, though, I shouldn't have thrown every last arrow at them. There's still some stragglers in the area, and now I have to wait until they leave before I get them. God, but the worst part of it was the flying ones. I'm really lucky they hate light so much. I've wondered if they just hate it or if it's a matter of they can't see through it, but there were like, excuse me, but there were about four or five circling overhead last night waiting to get their turn at the gut pile. You know, I mentioned this in one of the other books, but there's been a few times where they land on the same building as me. They sniff around a little or tear up one of the gardens. But the light usually bugs them enough that they leave, especially if I turn up the torch. Three or four of the potato plants I brought with me from the old town are actually descendants of the plants that survived when those ghoul-eyed motherfuckers decided they wanted some of my spuds. Bullshit! Dis my house! Get your own potatoes, asshole! That doesn't go for you, though, Nessa. You can have, his, you can have a spud or two if you want it. Day 3764. And it's raining. Still no arrows, so no more air raids for now. I'm over at the laundry mat now, sitting inside and enjoying a can of soup I got from the gas station. I also realized I didn't look for gas for my lantern when I was over there. Dumb! I just saw food and got distracted. <clears throat> Don't worry about me, though, Vanessa. I still have enough fuel. I was just thinking about it was all. This place leaks like a cheese grater, though. It's nice to be out of... Excuse me, it's nice to be out of the open air, but this rain can let up any time. I think one of the reasons I don't like being inside too much is because it reminds me of what we've lost all excuse me. Because it reminds me of what we've lost from all of this. Right now I'd be sitting in front of my computer with some coffee or soda, playing something online with friends with the heat jacked up and some little dog in the other room. I miss my dogs a lot. Okay, well, I'm just going to be a sad sack for a while. <clears throat> Day 3765. I think I clenched my ass into the shadow realm. Two of the fuckers got into the bottom floor of the laundry mat before the sun came up and just started smacking over everything they could. I was on the roof faster than you could say, Hell no! No arrows means I'd have to go down there and deal with either of them with a club or a gun and I didn't want the noise bringing attention. I sure as hell wasn't going to try to take on two at once. On the plus side though, I checked out the killing field below the tower and managed to get some of my arrows back. The crossbow is cool but I think I'm going to have to try to make a normal bow and some arrows myself just so I have an easier time making my own ammo. Also the doors to the tower's ground floor are actually open so there might not be as many in there as I think. I'm not going to get too excited, but I'm kind of thinking I might try to run and gun in there without going through some crazy elaborate plan. I might try another night or two of picking off the guys outside and maybe making some noise to see if I can't draw them out first. But if nothing else, I should at least be able to start looking around the inside. You know, Spec Ops Recon and shit. Day 3,766. Doing another stakeout tonight. Checked on my farm back at the firehouse and everything is fine. 
There were a few sleeping inside, but I took care of them. They must have been surviving out of here for a while because they had some bullets on them. I'm probably just going to YOLO tomorrow and see if I can't leg it through the building. I've got a need for loot. Basically, I just spent most of today either setting up noisemakers, getting more rat guts for the bait, or just actively going beast mode on any of these things I saw. I'm a little worn out, but I still have some of the sodas I found at the gas station, so I should be fine. Oh yeah, I went back there and they did have tanks for my lantern. I'm usually never this lucky. Bye for now. I'll let you know how things go tomorrow. Day 3767. Oh, hang on. Sushi is making a prediction. Okay, so only going by context clues, I'm calling it now. Vanessa was the name of the main protagonist's fursuit. Oh, no. No, Sush. Sush, he's not that sad. <clears throat> Day 3,767. I kick a lot of ass for a guy who's only like 150-something. I stomped ass again last night, saved enough arrows to deal with some of the bat guys, and got a better idea at how many there are in the area. It's a lot. I used some of the ammo I got off the one guy yesterday and had to start popping off some rounds after they sprang all the noise traps. The noise got them all hyped up and pissed off enough that... Through pure chance, they broke into the building I was in. Things got a little dicey, and I didn't or excuse me, and I didn't have any other options. Thankfully, I really didn't have to tap into much of my ammo reserves to deal with that. Downside was that the noise drew their attention right to me, so I had to shim sham my way over to another roof, lay some distance parkour style, and set up a light in a little cubby so the flyers didn't hunt me down and crack me open like a warm brewski. And that sucked a whole lot. Like, a lot. I didn't manage to keep track of how many I killed, but it wasn't too shabby. So yeah, a bit of a scare there, but it wasn't the worst I've been through. Just a note to me, I saw about eight wander out of the front door of the building, didn't see the other. The largest building has a thick glass front that is largely intact. Excuse me, solid doors. No obvious alternate ways in or out. I'm guessing this place is either going to be some kind of fortress or grave. Smiley face. Always a fun time! I'm going to check out the building with the glass front later. To be honest, I'm a little shook after everything. Hey, Birdo! Oh, I'm reading one of my other books that I work on in between working on Infinity Quest. <clears throat> yeah, I'm telling the story of Sean, post-apocalyptic survivor. Day 3768. They are still really, really, really angry over there. They're fumbling around a lot more during the day, and they've spread out a little bit. I think I've only successfully weeded out the dumb ones. Fuck all of my life. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a bit of time before I go back into the area, so it's just going to be you and me on the firehouse for a bit, Nessa. I guess I'm really going to get to enjoy that view I was telling you about. I'm glad I have extra fuel for my lantern, though. Last night was kinda bad with the bats, but they moved on. I'm not quite sure if I regret the kill campaign yet or not. It's a little too early to tell, but I really hope I didn't just screw myself over in the long run. This city isn't bad. I could probably survive here for a while if everything went well. Though. That's all I ever really do, isn't it? I really hate all of this. I hate it a lot. I hate that I have to kill fucking mutant-ass monsters. That I have to watch my back whenever I'm around people. That I can't trust anyone. That there's no one around for me to talk to. And that I spend every waking moment... Excuse me. Or that I spend every waking day pouring my heart into these stupid books I know no one's ever really going to see. These. That it's really unlikely that there's someone who's come my exact path through this hellscape and seen any of this. Fuck, they probably just used these as fuel for their fire. Guess I have the post-murder mope today. I just wish this was like those survival games where I could just log off after a few hours and just go watch some movies and worry about having something like a social life. 
Life's a lot easier when you didn't have to kill your mutant neighbor after watching them eat your dogs and fuck up your family. I need some alone time tonight. This is going to turn into another one of those entries where I just ramble forever if I don't. But it's hard, you know? If there actually was someone, like someone how I imagine following after me reading these, keeping up with me, I'd give you all my food just to spend a night and talk. Just to have the chance to talk again with someone who could talk back. God, I'd give anything just to have someone to talk to. I haven't spoken much for real in a long time. Just something to break up the monotony of drooling scumbags all the time. That'd be nice. When you're surviving alone, you have to be accountable for everything. There's no one to watch your back. You have to weigh... And you have to weigh all the options yourself and try to come up with all the different ways to look at a situation. You have to gather and carry all your own supplies and there's only one person to fight off what can easily turn into a mob. The longer I'm out here, the more I think about taking back what I said. Travel light. Don't lay down roots. But if you can, bring friends. Maybe a group of three would work. Well, I guess only if they're not noisy. Without talking and a lot of noise around you, <clears throat> excuse me. Without talking and a lot of noise, you actually get really good at listening. The birds and wildlife can tell you a lot, to be honest. After like 4,000 days just bouncing around, well, you're not going to attain enlightenment or anything, but after all that time in abandoned towns and woodlands, you get really good at reading a situation. Like if there's, or excuse me, like if they're tweeting and making a lot of noise in large part, you're safe except for maybe the odd straggler here or there that's kind of weak or quiet. <clears throat> but when the birds and wildlife are quiet and there isn't a sound anywhere, you should start shitting yourself because bad things are parading nearby. Thanks, Nessa. I needed to talk to someone tonight. <clears throat> oh, God, I got such a frog in my throat. Day 3769. Ha ha ha! 69! I'm a child. A horrible, unbathed murder child. Dating profile header right there, ladies and gents. Okay, so after getting all emotional last night, I managed to nut up pretty quick today and just started gathering what I could in my neck of the woods. I was thinking about maybe trying to make a guitar or something in the future. It's been years since I've played, but I think I'm getting to that point where I need a hobby to find something to fill the time between hordes and being potato god. The freaks are still a little more agitated than normal, but they're settling back down. After tonight, I think I'm going to head back out and try to gather up what I can, then maybe go for another... <clears throat> excuse me, or... Then maybe make another... Nee! Excuse me. Then maybe make a go for the tower and, or excuse me, the day after that. I've just been picking what I can from around this side of town. I spent a lot of time at the bookstore today just looking over stuff. There were a few books I brought with me that I want to check out. There was a little salon thing across the street, so I decided to shave up a little. Well, scratch that. I decided to shave after clearing out a small horde. Serious. No idea why they were in there, but it looked like they'd been in there scratching and fumbling with stuff for a while. There was what used to be a police officer in there or someone in a uniform that was like twice the size of the normal ones. I had to use bullets on them, but I'm feeling a little better since he had some ammo on him and keys. I might look around for the station at some point, but I've seen enough movies to know how that goes. I feel better, though, after shaving, so I guess always make time to do some upkeep on yourself. You're the only you that you're ever going to have. Take care of yourself and the people you care about. Being miserable is a lot more serious than you'd think, so have so you have to find a excuse me, so you have to find ways to deal with it yourself. Day 3770. So today I walked into downtown. It's been some weird feeling. <clears throat> excuse me. It's been some weird feeling few days, but I think I'm doing better though. I found a hobby shop on the way, so I have a decent amount of arrows and bows now. <laughs> mm-hmm, French fried taters. Ignorant casual gamer, yep. 
What kind of potato power do you have? Ireland! <laughs> I'm going to take this from the top. Day 3770. So today I walked into downtown. It's been some weird feeling few days, but I think I'm doing better though. I found a hobby shop on the way, so I have a decent amount of arrows and bows now. I took some time to look over what they had, but I'll have to look deeper into it later. It reminded me of my mom in there. I took advantage of the daylight and really laid into the ones that I've been picking on for the last few days. They had nests or dens or whatever you want to call them set up in the buildings and had started building them up. They're not the brightest, but they know someone's been thinning them out when they're sleeping. I'm not at the point where I'm going to try to solo the town. I still want to live, so I'm going to be smart about this, but I did a lot of damage today and peeked inside the skyscraper for the fi first time, like actually walking into the lobby. I might be some grizzled badass by the end of this. Whatever the end of this is, I know I should have taken time to practice with the bow a bit more, but I've used them enough off and on over the years to still have a good handle on them. But. For the life of me, I can't figure out what that building is about. The lobby is at least three floors tall and has some big letter sculpture in the middle of it. There's a little restaurant up on the second floor from what I saw. Little sitting areas here and there and a few business guys. But the lights were still on and everything. They still had central heating. I'm on the roof. Excuse me. I'm on the other roof out here to see who's still hanging around after today's pest control. But I'm thinking tomorrow we're finally able to check this place out. Forget what I said about buildings and views and all that. If I could actually clear this place out and fortify it, I think this might be just what I've been looking for. I could look for a library and find books about how to take care of the generators or whatever is powering this building, and do the plumbing and stuff. Or at the very least, enjoy it while it lasts. I've been really lucky over the past few days, so I'm hoping I'll get more of that tomorrow. I think it's time my potatoes move up in the world. I want a warm bed. I want a room, and I want electricity. I need this, Vanessa. I really, really do. Again, if I die because the place caves in on me, thank you for just being here to read these with me, even if you're not real. But if I pull this off, I'll make you a promise. So long as you see lights on in here, just hold out the book and tell me it's you. I don't care if you're actually a girl or some big sweaty dude who's been surviving out here. Come find me and I'll have a room waiting for you. After all this time and all the stuff I've written, we're friends. Unachieverland will have its first royal B&B. &B. Wish me luck. Day 3,771. I'm never going back to that fucking building ever again. Vanessa, please, if, you're, if you've ever trusted me, trust me now. I know we're all running on fumes and we're looking for scraps wherever we can find them, but that building is fucked beyond anything you can imagine. I'm seriously thinking about leaving town tomorrow. I'm fucking shaking and I can't sleep. I'm scared, Vanessa. It was going so well. The horde there had thinned out. There was barely... Excuse me. There was barely activity excuse me there was barely activity inside i had a night to rest and pick off the bats and a whole day to look around i only stopped back here at the firehouse tonight because i was too scared and tired and it was too late to bug out they have a fucking lab towards the top of the building it's some kind of freaky medical lab or something it's not a hospital it's like a real fucking mad science thing they have those things in tanks up there there's a few levels of offices, but everything after floor 10 was straight, or excuse me, was a straight up laboratory. It was mostly the bat ones in the tanks, but I saw autopsy tables with the grunts. I take it back earlier when I said I didn't want to be a science guy because I have no idea what they were doing. They were either experimenting on the freaks or those motherfuckers are who caused all of this. If they did, I hope they rot in the deepest circles of hell for everything they've done. But they were still alive in those tanks. Just fuck. Just fuck everything. I can't. I've had all afternoon to try and deal with this, but I can't find words to really do anything other than kind of detail what happened. They were looking at me and following me behind the glass. I freaked my shit and some of them got out. 
and I just fucking ran. A big guy got off the autopsy table and just started smashing through the glass. I don't know if they're still stuck inside there or not, but I know I'm not sleeping tonight. Don't come here. Do not go to the tower. Day 3,772. I've never felt so alone and so anxious in all my life. It's fucking raining. I can't leave. The post office is still wrecked, so I can't get back there, or excuse me, so I can't get back in there easily, and I can't stop seeing those things looking at me in the tanks. It's also way too quiet. I'm sitting here under a tarp next to my potatoes. I can't go inside the station because there's a big hole in the wall, so it's not secure enough to trust, and I'm so tired. I couldn't sleep after that. Hey, I started writing again. I think I'm fucked. With the bad weather, I hear the bats outside on the prowl, and I'm still on the roof. I should have gone inside. I have the lamp on, but they're still a, they, excuse me, but they still sound really close. I've cracked into the soda to try and wake me up, but I don't think that's going to help for long. I'm going to have to hope the sun comes back out soon. It's night right now, and I'm shitting bricks. The rain stopped. I have a fire going and my torch, but one of the bats landed on the side of the roof. I don't hear any others flying around, so I think it's just the one, but it's looking right into the fire. This motherfucker has been sitting there for a solid five minutes and it isn't going away. They're supposed to fly away. I have the fire going and everything. I'm going to try turning up my lantern and if it doesn't take off after that, I'm going to try to get my bow and shoot it. I think maybe it's trying to dry off. I hate looking at it. It won't go away. I don't even have the glass between me and it this time. It's getting closer! Day 3773. I'm burning through so much fuel. The rain came back and put out the fire so I couldn't get close to any of my gear. I shook the lantern at the thing. I turned it up, but it won't leave. It wandered to where I keep my sleeping bag, and it's just smelling around and... I don't know, playing with my stuff or trying to claw it apart? It's got these long claw fingers that it's trying to grab stuff with, and it's just dumping out all of my stuff. I hear it breathing, and it's that close. It's just this raspy, god-awful shaking sound, like it's got shit in the back of its throat. I can't stay up a third day in a row, and I don't know what's going to happen if I try to run. I'm thinking about trying to rush it and kick it away from my gear so I can grab a weapon. Why won't the sun come out? The emotional trauma does the same thing to me. My god, there's blood everywhere. <clears throat> Every time Caleb yells, I think he's about to yell at me. Sush, what have you done? It's getting closer now. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Surviving with Sush, rule number, rule number one. Do not do. Day 3774. I slept through the day. I couldn't stay awake. The sun came out, and now it's gone. I'm fucking terrified. This had to be one of the ones from the lab, and I feel like it's going to come back. There's about two days worth of walking before I get to a trader, and I don't want to be in the middle of nowhere in the open if this thing follows me. I know it's going to come back. It found some of the meat I was trying to cure, and it ran off with it. It knows I have food here. I'm fucked. I'm really fucked, and I st I'm still so tired. It's going to be dark soon, and I don't know how long I'm going to be able to deal with this. Day 3,775. I've moved over to the hardware store to try to lose this thing. I heard it off and on flying around last night. It's been heavy overcast all day. I don't trust the weather to hold. If this thing is intelligently stalking me, I'm hoping that after a few nights of finding me here, it'll fly off. The second days, excuse me, the second the days clear up, I'm thinking about bailing. I've got to find my nerve. There's so much untouched loot in this city, and I know I should try to gather up more for the road, but this whole ordeal has me freaked the fuck out. I'm go excuse me, I'm not going to make the same mistake as last night and let things get between me and my weapons. I can take this thing if it's just like the others. 
I don't know what was going on in that building, but they couldn't have made it bulletproof. I don't know what I was expecting. I say it's a few hours after midnight, but sure enough, this fucking thing found me. I know it's the same one. It has to be. It's on the roof above me, just scratching and making all sorts of noise, and I can't help but remember every reason why I didn't want to stay here in the first place. I'm trapped if I go downstairs with the no-necked assholes outside, and if I go up on the roof, I'm going to have to face this thing with my lantern. It's not staying still long enough for me to do anything. Anytime the big guys come along, it flies down after them and starts screaming and clawing at them until they leave. It just keeps zipping back and forth between the street and the roof, and every now and again it flies off for a few minutes. This isn't normal. I can't begin to tell you how freaked out I am. It's gotten so much fucking weirder. It's been scaring off anything that gets close. I've heard it get into three scuffles on the roof with other bats over the last two hours. But that's not the worst of it. It's been up there talking. It's just making these weird noises over and over again like these old videos online about birds who kinda know how to talk. It sounds like that. It's just confused nonsense, but it won't shut up. I don't need to tell you that this doesn't happen, right? I'm not the fucking moron showing up late to the party here and they just always do this. It's just wandering around in circles up there going on and on about something. It just threw something down the stairs. It's one of my goddamn potatoes. No. No, all of my fucking no. It did it again. I think this fucking thing is trying to bait me outside. It's trying to do what I did outside the tower. It's trying to lure me out. My camp is probably fucked. I have to get a grip and take this motherfucker out. I probably lost all my plants because of this thing. I have to kill it. There's a French-Canadian zombie movie that came out that flopped hard. It was super dumb. Caleb, I think you should write a story exactly like it, but better, where the zombies just progressively become weirder and weirder. Like, at first, they're just slow zombies, but as time progresses, they keep quoting Batman and Robin quotes. Bat credit card runs at you. Oh, God, that that's terrifying. Day 3776. It flew off before the sun came up. I'm checking out the roof now, and I'm just at a loss. I checked this roof before I set up for the night. It was bare. That fucking thing flew one of my potato plants from the firehouse over here, and there's armfuls of pill bottles everywhere. Is this supposed to be some kind of offering? Whose fucking sick-ass joke is this? What the hell am I supposed to make of this, Vanessa? Hey, thanks for letting me out of the tank. Is this what this is? These things are animals. They can't talk and reason. I've seen them enough. I know how they act and what they do. This is all I need. A smart monster with eyes on me. Well, I guess I should be grateful. It offered me dinner before it fucked me up. Day 3777. Ten years. I added it up today in my spare time. I've been out here at this surviving thing for ten years, Vanessa. I've lived in the woods. I escaped my hometown. I got out of the cities while shit was going down. I've survived in dead towns, abandoned quarries, and the straight fucking apocalypse hasn't gotten me yet. It's time I nut the fuck up. Nad serious this time, yo. I don't care what the fuck was in that tower, whatever the fuck the bat is, but I'm not just going to sit here curled up terrified every night. That ship has sailed. Ten motherfucking years. This world is a lump of shit with shitty people, shitty monsters, and nothing but big fucking heaps of nothing. But you know what? I fought for my little slice of nothing. I goddamn earned my little piece of the shit pie. The rooftops, the bag, the gas, the snacks, my potato plants aren't anything in the grand scheme of things, but they're mine. I'm not going to let this shit run me out of town. I can't push, excuse me, I can't pass everything here. <clears throat> excuse me, I can't pass everything here. This is a good spot and the tower is terrifying, but it's all right there for the taking. I'm one guy against a whole world, Vanessa. But at the very least, I've earned the right not to fear for my life every time night falls. I'm over that shit. I'm going to take a look around the city and see if I can't find it during the day or those other things that I saw in the tower. 
I've been thinking about this all day today. I don't know yet what I'm going to do if I find this thing. But I know with animals, you've got to show them who's boss so they don't think they can take you out later. And that's all I have written on Fly-By-Night Apocalypse. Ooh, Dovaquil. It's sapient and friendly. Its humanity has been restored. If I had the smallest amount of audience, I'd write nothing but creepy Twilight Zone stories. Ooh, nice. But where the monsters start off normal and progressively become incredibly specific. And... No, give me more. <laughs> no, ah, give me more. Yep, no, I'm sorry. This is, this is where Fly-By-Night Apocalypse ends. Yes, I know. Am I kidding you? I'm sorry, I'm not. Like... You have ESP powers, but everyone with an A blood type explodes around you. I want more. IDK about friendly. It's hard to say what its true state is until there's a face-to-face -face encounter. Feed us more. Such a good story. Ah! Oh, the population of lava's back. And I think that's where I'm going to leave the stream today, because my voice is absolutely shot. So, thank you very much for coming. You deny me Infinity Quest, then leave me with a cliffhanger. Wait, is this where it ends completely? You jerk! Mm, I bask in it. Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much for showing up, and we'll see what we uh, what we do next time. Maybe a little bit more Fly by Night Apocalypse, maybe a little bit more Infinity Quest, or maybe I'll let you guys provide me with some of your writing, because I want Written Wednesday not just to be about me, but I want it to be about you guys too. Writing is such an important part of life, and there's so many different ways to write. I was talking to my friend the other night about it, and it's the difference between the difference between learning to write and learning to walk are worlds different. When you learn to walk, there's one way to do it. Someone can show you how to do it, and you do it for the rest of your life. When you learn to write, when you learn to draw, when you learn to do something creative, you can't be told how to do it. You have to watch and learn from a lot of different people and find how, how each method works for you and plays out. You have to build your understanding of that world. And if I can share everybody's life, exp er, life experiences in my little series here for YouTube and help more people reach their creative potential and express the ideas inside of them, then I will consider Written Wednesday an absolute success. Would you maybe permit me to share a part of my fanfic in the future? It would be my pleasure, Dova. So... From the bottom of my heart, thank you all once again for joining me for Written Wednesday and for joining me for the Fly-By-Night Apocalypse. And now you see, by the way, why it's called Fly-By-Night. It's about suffering for your beliefs. I'm sure Sean could relate to that very, very deeply. Talk to you guys later. Until next time.